Hi, my name is Aki Rafiq. In this video, I'll go through the latest updates in the in the crypto world. Before we get started, <clears throat> if you can hit the like and subscribe button, currently sitting at 452 subscribers, hoping to hit the thousand mark as soon as possible. A slight disclaimer, these views rep are not representing anyone that I work for or anything like that. These are my own financial views. They're not financial advice. They're just my opinion on things. So don't take things too seriously. Do your own financial research before aping into anything. Let's get straight into it. It's been a big week in the market. <clears throat> so the top 10 things that have happened this week in terms of the market. Signature Bank was the second bank to get seized and shut down after the Silicon Valley Bank, which was the week before last, which caused a massive ripple effect um, on March the 12th into the market. HSBC bought Silicon Bank in the UK for one single dollar. Um, CPI in the US came in at 6%. It was expected to come in at 6%. I'm not sure how much I believe that number considering just the macro environment in general. I um, also think that Biden may have perhaps lowered the number um, so that the markets wouldn't react following the Silicon Valley bank collapse the week before, which caused the stock market to tank a bit. Facebook announced that it would be laying off another 10,000 employees. In November, Facebook let go 13,000, so 23,000 altogether. Um, <clears throat> Mark Zuckerberg also said that he anticipates this layoff season to continue to happen in the next few years as tech reconsolidates itself following the covid boom that it saw youtubers who were promoted the now bankrupt crypto exchange were sued for one billion dollars in a class a uh, lawsuit uh, i think that was bitboy and people like that um apple delayed some bonuses and expanded its hiring freeze they announced that a bit like meta they're battening up the hatches Brent crude oil went for under $75 for the first time since 2021. The Credit Suisse default swaps hit an all-time high. Um, the Federal Reserve's assets increased $300 billion over the last week. They're beginning to print money again, which is not good for inflation. UBC is in talks for acquiring Credit Suisse. <clears throat> I think just now this afternoon, we've seen that UBC's offers to buy Credit Suisse at 0.25 per share. Uh, for £1 billion, according to the Financial Times. The deal was expected to close sometime today. So, yeah, all in all, not good news. I think Biden administration are talking to Warren Buffett in regards to what's going on into the stock market and ongoing banking crisis. Um, global cryptocurrency market cap surpasses £1.2 We saw Bitcoin uh, momentarily hit 19k before bouncing to 27,000 and still above 27,000 as of this Sunday. Um, worth noting as well, a lot of this was caused by CZ Binance, who decided to use the uh, the liquidating fund, whatever you call it, the emergency funds, to buy Bitcoin following the USD collapse. So it's being pumped artificially. One could say uh, altcoins aren't following suit so far. The US Secretary Janet Yellen says the banks only get the same treatment as Silicon Valley Bank if the failure to protect uninsured de depositors. Uh, Microsoft are reportedly building their own crypto browser for its Edge browser, crypto wallet for its Edge browser. Apparently, it's going to be non custodial Evo, which is big news. 10 trillion asset firm Bankrock also wanted, BlackRock, sorry, wanted to bid for Credit Suisse, but UBCS is going to take over. Uh, 186 banks found to have similar vulnerabilities to the Silicon Valley Bank. So we're, I guess we're just getting started with the banking collapse. A lot of people think we're at, if you've seen the video, if you've seen the film, The Big Short, we're in the denial phase right now before a final capitulation. However, the markets are holding up relatively strong. You'll see Bitcoin, as I say to you, is trading above £27,000. Uh, EU are considering banning Bitcoin, another thing. Colorado accepts Bitcoin and crypto for tax payments. So, yeah, it's been a big week in general, like Instagram. You, you saw that Donald Trump said that he's going to get arrested on Tuesday as well. So there'll be some volatility in the market around then. Uh, overall, as I say to you, Bitcoin's trading above 27,000. We have a big week this week where many people are anticipating the Fed to cut rates, interest rates. Um, it's the Fed meeting this week. At first, they were expecting a 50 basis points increase and it went down to 25 basis points. And then the Silicon Valley Bank collapse happened and now people are expecting the Fed not to increase the rate. ECB did increase their rate to uh, 50 basis points amidst all this bank chaos. Uh, so yeah, and the ECB also said that some EU banks could be at risk as well. So let's have a look at what happens in this week. I expect the markets to make some big moves. Uh, there'll be volatility heading into the Fed meeting. Uh, 
so yeah, keep your eye out on that. Let's see if the altcoins bounce. As I say to you, most altcoins are relatively stable. They haven't dropped or gone up in comparison to Bitcoin. So we do expect a move on the altcoins coming soon. If you found the video useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. I do think it's going to be a big week uh, in the market. So yeah, keep I'll keep you posted if anything comes up. Thank you, everyone.